All right, here's the truck. We're just gonna check out the uh, tires real quick. Let y'all see how they're looking with the 4,000 or so miles on them. All nice and smooth. Still very big tread. You know, if you got, I've said it before, if you have new tires, be thankful. A lot of people run around on some bald tires, so definitely do not overlook having some good tires. So there's the tread on. What's going on guys? So uh, this is going to be a video talking about the Atero Trailblade MTs. So I don't know how new of a tire this is, but I'd never heard of it. Um, I had been out of the truck community for a while, so I hadn't been real in-depth with all the new tires and whatnot, but I had never heard about these tires until I got to shopping around for wheels and tires for this truck. And, uh, you know, I mainly found them off of Custom Offset's video where they, you know, kind of broke down the difference between cheap mud tires, expensive mud tires, and stuff like that where I really did get to see exactly what the, all the options were because I've really always just been give me Nitto Mud Grapplers. I need mud, Nitto Mud Grapplers are the only tire that I want. That's the only thing I need. But unfortunately, on this truck, I was 100% wanting the 22 by 12s. And unfortunately, Nitto does not make a mud grappler in a 33, 12, 50, 22, uh, which is kind of understandable, but um, you know, I feel like they are missing out on a very large market because they don't have, I don't even think, they don't even have a 35, 12, 50, 22, so in, in mud grapplers. So I feel like they are missing out on a really big market. But with that being said, so couldn't get mud grapplers, so then I had to test out my other choices, options, whatnot. And, um, sorry, we got Grandpa over there picking his nose. We're running 40 and a 65. But, uh, so I had to try my other options, all right? So, I was just going to go ahead and get the Toyo MTs because they are pretty much one of, if not the best tire out there. And so, uh, I got to looking and you know, I do like the way they look. Obviously they're a very good looking tire, but the Aturo Trailblade is basically the same tread pattern, but then I believe has a more aggressive looking sidewall pattern. And so that really got my attention, as well as the tires being several, several hundred dollars less than the um, Toyo MT. So I got to look at their reviews and stuff, and pretty much everyone that has them was saying that they really liked them. You know, some people, of course, were saying that they had issues with them and stuff, and when you're dealing with a product of this magnitude, some people are going to have issues, whether it be manufacturing issues, shipping issues, mounting issues. There's a whole lot of, you know, differences between different people, different scenarios, different vehicles. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. So I kind of took the, the, the bads because there's bads on everything. And I've said this in a million different videos because there's a ton of people that have completely ruined a set of mud grapplers in less than 10,000 miles. And that's not because mud grapplers are bad. That's not because you got them you know, a faulty tire, it's because you didn't take care of it, and so, um, that was pretty much my view on it, it was, it's basically worth trying these tires, because they're literally, like, half the price, so you could get two sets for the price of one set of Toyo MT, so it's definitely worth trying, we're currently at, like, 4,000 miles on them, and I'll show a video, a video of them you know how the treads wearing and everything and they've been absolutely perfect I've had no issues they are wearing perfectly even I'm about to do a tire rotation which will be the next video explaining how to make your tires last longer and stuff but like I said that'll be a different video but you know they're at, they've been absolutely great and they're still very big tread I you know I, I didn't measure them you know in millimeters or whatever when I got them I guess I should have just so I could have a real direct comparison between you know the mileage and how they're wearing and stuff but didn't do that so oh well but 
So some people definitely do complain in the videos about the tire noise, which you're going to get tire noise with all, all mud tires, plain and simple. Uh, we're running 70 right now, and you know, there's a pretty good hum. I'm not going to lie, there's a pretty good hum. And there is also, a, you know, it's a decent side, a decent, decent sound whenever you're just on some back roads and stuff. So, or not back roads, but you know, normal 50 mile an hour, 55. Definitely, it is a noisy tire. And you know, if you don't want to hear tire noise, then don't buy a mud tire, buy a hybrid, or buy an all terrain, or buy a street tire. Uh, I don't understand people that complain about, oh, my mud tire is too loud. Look, it. It's a mud tire, okay? So it's, I don't even know what to say back to that because it's just, it's kind of a given. Like, I don't know, I can understand how different sounds are not appealing to people. You know, these tires sound completely different than like a mud grappler. These are nowhere near as loud as a mud grappler. And I freaking love the way mud grapplers sound. I hear them from, you know, people that have them on their truck. I'll be sitting on the side of the road or, you know, whatever. Like me and my buddies will always meet up at Sonic and you know, like once a week just to have dinner together and stuff and we'll be sitting outside and you hear that? I mean mud grapplers coming from about a mile away and so certain people like it, certain people don't, I get it, but you have to know when you get a mud tire you're gonna hear it. Some of them are louder and some of them are quieter, but I guarantee you they're all gonna make a sound and it's not anything bad. Like we're going fifty five right now, alright? Normal little highway road yes I hear them no I don't have to turn up the volume on the radio I don't have to talk louder they just it's just a normal little hum I mean I hear the exhaust just as loud as I hear the, the um, tires if you hear a little squeaking noise I got a case of water back there I should have got that out but so as far as my daily experience with the tires They've been great. I mean, I've had no complaints with them. You know, they are a little bit stretched, praise the Lord. They've not exploded on me or anything like that. You know, and this is just about a 4,000 mile update. And I'm just making it this soon because it is right before it, rotating them and everything. And I'm just gonna give, you know, if, if I do manage to keep these wheels and tires for a long time, I just wanna give y'all updates. So for anyone in the future that wants to buy these tires, we'll know what they're getting into so um, like I said only about 4,000 miles on them but they have been great and I do daily drive this truck every single day and they've been perfect I mean there's not much to say I, I don't don't know exactly the weight difference between these and maybe a Toyo I feel like I read at one point that these are actually lighter than a Toyo MT you can correct me if I'm wrong but if they are, then that's obviously a plus. That's less rotating mass. That's going to save your fuel economy, your performance, everything like that. And these tires have definitely become a lot more popular at this point. I've, I've seen several of them around my little town. I see a lot of them online. And that is largely due to them being, you know, a cheap mud tire. Because, let's be honest, most of us guys are not wanting to go spend $2,000 on a set of tires and 2,000 plus on a set of wheels. Plain and simple, most of us everyday Joes are not just going out there and spending five to $10,000 on wheels and tires. Basically, with all that being said, the Turos have been absolutely great. You comment down below, let me know if you have a Turos. Let me know how you've had experience with them, if you've had a bad or a good experience. The comments are obviously a whole nother section of knowledge you know typically there is some craziness that people just spew ignorant down there but as well there is a lot of good knowledge to be had in the comment section from other people's experience and stuff so definitely if you have genuine real world experience with these tires leave a comment down below let me know what you think and yes I'll go ahead and throw this out there I don't take this truck through the mud yes they're mud tires I'm sorry if that triggers you what's going on guys so I'm breaking in the video here because I filmed the tire review kind of thing before I took the truck in the mud for the 10k video so I did want to do a little update video on how the tires did in the mud 
and it's as far as I didn't go through anything crazy just kind of creeping around and romping through a little bit of slick mud where it'd been raining and uh, had collected and stuff so wasn't any serious mud riding or real off-roading just to most people I guess but um, as far as the tires doing good as a mud tire they did really good um, they do clump up of course like any mud tire when you're just like creeping through it or whatever but as soon as you gave it throttle they cleared out they dug good never had to put it in four wheel drive and it was really slick out there so i was impressed with them they did good i just figured i'd throw this in there because the original video that i have filmed um i don't know if i'll play it or not i probably will just cut the part out about me talking about not how i don't off-road with these tires that most everyone just gets mud tires for the look which is 100 percent true on this truck it's not something that should trigger you if someone buys mud tires and then doesn't go off-roading. It's not, That's not a big deal. People have been doing that for as long as mud tires have been out. So don't get triggered by people that don't go off-roading with mud tires. It's just a look. It looks so much better than street tires. So that's why people run them. But I um, did get a little bit of experience with them in the mud. And the Turo Trailblade MTs did as good as I could have asked. They two-wheel drive. Never got stuck, never had to put it in full drive. Everything did good. So just going to throw this little clip in there. With that being said, I guess I'll catch you on the next one.